guys, no, 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 no. I, I don't think I can do this because why is there literal like why is my face completely blurred? Right, basically, I really, really, really want to vlog this afternoon. I really want to vlog today. I've got like such a good couple of days coming up, but guys, I've lost my camera. I've literally lost my camera. I have flipped this house upside down and if you're wondering why this doesn't look like my normal like whatever the hell is going on here oh no the baby's waking up oh lord basically i found this like rusty dusty old camera but i don't even know if it is rusty and dusty because the kind of the quality actually looks kind of good basically this is like a vlogging camera that tommy bought in about 1999 when he wanted to do a bit of youtube and i've just got this out of the cupboard because i really want to vlog i've like got so much fun stuff to tell you guys i wasn't even really i'm not going to vlog this evening but i just wanted to tell you guys what we're up to it's tommy's birthday tomorrow and if i can sort out the settings on, on this camera then maybe there's a possibility of me being able to vlog the next couple of days and like bringing you guys along i'm kind of potentially worrying that maybe i've left my camera in dubai also hi guys by the way welcome back to the channel <laughs> This is not my normal uh, way of starting a vlog, but just like brain overload. I'm just like, just word vomiting to you all. But yeah, I'm suddenly potentially panicking. Did I leave my camera in the room in Dubai? I don't think I did because I'm pretty sure the hotel would have called me to say you've left your camera here. But the worst part about it is, is that the SD card in that camera has the video on, video on of me giving birth to Bambi. Like, I mean, I'm just really like overthinking now because the camera's probably in the house somewhere, but I have tipped the house upside down for the last hour trying to find it and I can't find it and Bambi's literally waking up please don't please I really need to get ready please if we can just stay asleep I can literally watch her her eyes are flickering I'm watching the monitor not gonna lie though from what I can see here this camera's kind of hitting it's kind of hitting has it got that soft oh no it says it's off basically on these cameras they have this like face um softening feature um it looks like it's on but it says it's off so is my skin just doing okay oh my god I'm pretty sure since having Bambi, like, I'm literally getting wrinkles in all different kinds of places. I never used to have crow's feet, but when I smile now... <gasps> no, because that never used to be there before, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no, please. Please, no, please. Please, please, God, please, no. We have this monitor, basically. It only, like, switches on when the baby's making a noise. That's why you've just heard that, like, static sound there, because it means that she's about to make it while she's making a noise. Hoping that everything's okay on this camera and I'm just gonna roll with it and just like catch you guys up and just fill you guys in on what's going on because we've got a really exciting evening coming up and I thought now would be the perfect opportunity to quickly chat to you guys because Tommy's out getting a haircut and I have a little surprise planned for him this evening which obviously I can't talk about whilst he's here. So it's Tommy's birthday tomorrow which is very exciting and this evening, so today is the 6th of May, tomorrow's the 7th, his birthday and this evening Tommy thinks him and I are going on a date night which we are, my sister's coming in about an hour to take over with Bambi so that I can finish getting ready and then she's watching her tonight and then Tommy and I go for a date night but afterwards he thinks we're just coming home after our meal like we normally would but I've actually planned for all of his friends well I say all of his friends he's got a really really small friendship group that he's literally had since being at school so I've just got his like like little friendship group um, and I've planned a night out for them sorry I feel like top girlfriend points from me like not to float my own boat but I was, I'm quite proud of, my, proud of myself there because, you know, not many girlfriends would want to plan a night out for their boyfriend. Um, but I thought, you know what, he'd, he does love his nights out. One thing about Tommy is that he doesn't go out very often, but he does actually love to go out. Like, he pretends he doesn't, but I know he does actually love to go out, have a little drinky, have a little night out with his friends. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to plan a little night out for him. So I, he doesn't know about it. He knows, I think he knows something's going on because he kept saying to me, like, oh, I want to sort out, like, a night out with my friends for my birthday. And I kept, kind of had to be like you know like i you know i didn't want to say like i saw it something but i just kind of had to like throw him off the scent a little bit so i think he's not stupid like he knows something's going on but i think he thinks it's going on tomorrow night not tonight um so anyway we're going to go to ivy asia tonight for dinner and then i might just say like, oh let's go for like a drink oh God, i can't say let's go for a drink afterwards because he'll be like who are you and what have you done with my girlfriend basically i'm getting his friends to all go to this place called lane seven which is like a bowling alley but it's like a bowling alley like bar club type thing and i've hired out two private lanes i mean there's literally five of them so i don't know why i've hired out two private lanes but like i've hired out, hired out this private area and like filled it all there's like all balloons there and everything and then we're gonna turn up and then all his friends will be there now i don't know if the boys will be like surprise because i don't know if that's really like a boy thing like do you reckon i could text i've made this little group chat where i've been organizing it with them and i wonder if i could text them saying like when i turn up could you all go surprise like maybe if they'd be like surprise it's a bit more manly surprise also i've told them i will be leaving because they're probably thinking 
like, is she gonna stay and like tag along for the night out? Like I would rather, I would rather do anything other than stay on a night out with his, him and his friends. So I'm gonna come home and then I've actually got someone coming to the house this evening to then set up a big display in the house. We've got like balloons, um, a little birthday display. We've got a cake, presents, cards. Like I've actually gone all out this year. It's been a while since I've, cause we were in LA, like, sorry, I've got literal word for me, haven't I? It's the first year in literally so, so long, like literally since lockdown that we've had a birthday at home. Tommy's last birthday, we were in LA um oh my god that was literally the best time ever the best 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 time that was just before i fell pregnant like literally like a month before i fell pregnant oh i just ran downstairs so i had a bit of a fun instant earlier i'm just doing my teeth whitening if you're wondering what i mean it, this looks so scary but it's just teeth whitening don't worry um so earlier i literally nipped out to the shops for five minutes to go and pick up cat food ironically i got a call from tommy saying you need to come home right now the there's been an incident with the cats, like the cats, the cats, the cats. I'm like, what's going on now? Like, God, just like, just give me five minutes, give me five minutes out of this goddamn house. Like, just for five minutes is all I want. Um, anyway, the Eggy, obviously it was Eggy because Eggy is just like literally the naughtiest little boy on the planet. He bought in a mouse. It sounds really weird, but I don't really want to talk too much about like the cats and how we now have it with the cats in terms of like going outside not going outside i just don't really want to go into details about it eggy bought in a mouse from the garden he keeps on doing this like it's like a reoccurring thing he's actually bought in i think this week probably about three mice um it is so so sad because like it's just like what cats do like cats like to catch mice there was a literal mouse running around the downstairs so tommy rang me i was like you need to get home now like i don't know what to do like there's a mouse running around i don't want to take my eye off it because he was worried about losing it and then obviously that would be a big problem because like say if he took his eye off the mouse and then it disappeared like we would have a mouse literally running around our living room which makes me feel like i want to throw up even though the mouse was actually quite cute like i can't even lie the mouse was cute when i came home and like he made like a barricade of them he like um trapped the mouse in the corner the mouse was actually so cute and he was so scared and I, it just broke my heart and i was actually so annoyed at eggy even though it's not their like the cat's fault because it is like in their instinct to like catch a mouse if they see it it just broke my heart anyway managed to get the cows the cows managed to get the cat outside <laughs> managed no no i didn't we managed to get the mouse outside oh my god i need to chill because i'm not making sense when the mouse realized it was at the back door i think it just like got so happy that it was outside and free and it literally like sprinted didn't realize there was a pond and then fell into the pond and then like essentially like started drowning it was honestly horrendous when you have a baby these are not the kind of things you need to be worrying about like rescuing rescuing a mouse i mean I'm, I'm so glad that we rescued the mouse and the mouse was fine that was my afternoon that's what i got up to literally tried to leave the house for five minutes not able just not able teeth whitening going in this is actually an overnight teeth whitener but i'm leaving it in for literally half an hour because my teeth get so sensitive i i can't leave my teeth whitening in like for very long at all There we go. I just had to have some, oh wow, sorry, I can't speak with these in, but I just had to have some new uh, trays made because obviously me being me, I lost my last ones. I'm gonna get on with doing my makeup now because I have six minutes until Bambi's meant to be waking up for her bath, so. Do I even bother starting my makeup now? Do you guys ever find that when you start your makeup and like have to take a break halfway through, like it kind of goes crusty and you can't get that like, I mean, my makeup never looks seamless, but you can't get that like seamless sort of like full look effect. It kind of look all looks separate, or is that just me? It's a really nice day, living in the right space. Breathing your best, got me feeling so kind of way. Way. Yeah, you're keeping me sane, got me in my right brain. I can't explain, but I'm feeling so kind of way. Way. You know. wearing makeup is that I can't like snuggle her properly because I'm like so obsessed with like skin to skin of our faces like I'm constantly like buried into her face like kissing her like just I can't like get I basically if I'm like this with her like I can't not be like all over her like face to face cheek to cheek forehead to forehead nose to nose like 
we're very close, aren't we? All the time. We love our closeness. But when I've got makeup on, I literally hate it because I can't even so much as give her a kiss. See, I'm literally, my, my lip has just bounced off her forehead. And now she has a big orange lip liner smear on her head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Well, we'll get it off in the bath anyway, won't we? Let's go up for your bath. Yeah. Just quickly, when I'm doing a solo bath time routine, I make sure I have every single thing laid out. Because obviously you can't leave a baby on it. She's in my arms, by the way. When you're doing solo bath time routine, like, you have to have everything so organised and laid out. So I've got her baby grow, nappy, moisturiser, towel there, everything for after her bath. And then this is her little bath centre. we got a little disco going on. She's got her own nightclub. She's only three months old, but she's got her own nightclub going on. Um, I don't even know where we got these little bath lights from, you know. Come on then. In you go. Oh, you've been sick. Oh, nice. Thanks for that. Rubber baby. Rubber baby. You're so fine. <laughs> oh my God, babe. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh my God. You're there you look nice yeah good trim don't do that bambi shark do 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 bambi shark bambi shark do 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 bambi shark do 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 baby shark bambi shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark do 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 daddy shark bambi shark do 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 Probably a bit young to be watching um, Wolf of Wall Street, but it's actually an 18, I think. Also, also guys, these um, baby grows, the one that she's wearing right now. Oh my God, they're literally, right, sorry, I won't talk to you anymore with holding the bottle right in front of your face. And not. These um, baby grows are from a company called Baby Mori, M-O-R-I, um, Baby Mori. And they are without a doubt my favorite favorite baby baby grows like her, my favorite sleep suits for her they're just the material is literally unmatched like you can wash these baby grows and sleep suits like as many times as you want and they just they still feel just as soft as when you first buy them zip baby grows are the ones like they are slightly more expensive but especially with the baby mori ones like you only have to buy like a few because you can wash them so like they wash so 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 well that you don't have to buy loads of them um not an ad by the way just i absolutely love them so much good morning gang so it is the next day i had hoped to film a little bit more yesterday evening i wasn't gonna vlog like going out and stuff but i didn't want to not leave it so abruptly so sorry for that yesterday evening kind of got a little bit stressful because trying to do a baby's bedtime routine whilst also getting ready and i wanted to look really nice last night like i had sort of like a vision of how i wanted to look and i I don't know how, how, why I thought that doing Bambi's nighttime routine and also getting ready at the same time when Tommy was out for a haircut, like it just wasn't going to be possible, but I didn't, I wasn't really thinking, my head was all over the place yesterday, but it is Tommy's birthday today. Tommy got in last night at 5.30 a.m., 5.30 in the morning, um, so he's literally had a few hours sleep, I went upstairs to check on him, make sure he was okay, like 
I expected him to be fully asleep, but he was actually awake. So he's in the shower now. I think he's feeling extremely worse for wear. But listen, it was his birthday. It was his birthday night out. Why the hell not? You've got to go all out on your birthday if that's what you're into. So just behind me, you can see the setup, which I'm going to quickly show you before he comes downstairs. I've been up since seven this morning with Bambi, and I really, really wanted to go back to sleep when she had her morning nap, which she's still having now. But there was just so much to do in the house. I wanted to make the house look really nice and clean and tidy for Tommy's birthday. And then also I'd planned a surprise family breakfast this morning. So we were going to go to the place where we always go for breakfast, but I'd planned for his family to be there waiting for him um, when we arrived there. But I had to cancel them this morning because I just thought he got in at five. Like there's just no way that he's going to want to go for breakfast like this morning. And like he just probably won't want to even eat breakfast. So I've just said to them, all come around to the house and I'll make breakfast instead. So I've delivered like loads of like um, stuff like a full English and like croissant, cereal, orange juice, all that stuff. So we can just have like a chill breakfast here. I'm not even sure they're gonna come to be honest. We might have like a roast dinner. We've got like basically no plans today. I have booked a hotel for Tommy and I tonight. And we're gonna go and stay at the Gotham in Manchester, which is like one of my favorite hotels in Manchester. I always say this, there's not that many hotels in Manchester to pick from. The, Goth the Gotham is one of my favorites. So I've booked that for tonight. So here we have the display for Tommy's birthday. I've actually been so organized this year and his presents have been wrapped literally all week. Like I had them bought and wrapped over a week ago, which is so unlike me. I had his cards written. I use the same company for his little setup that I always use. They did my baby shower. They do everything for Tommy and I for like birthdays, valentines, you name it. I said to them this time I want something really different um, and I want something like I, we've never done before, not just balloons. So Amy from Walter and the Boy came up with this really cool concept of like these sort of building bricks. And I just thought like it was kind of quite appropriate because they kind of reminded me of like child building blocks, like building bricks. And I thought like for this year, like it would actually be really, really cute. So they've got like all different um, like, pictures on of like Tommy, Tommy and Bambi, me and Tommy. Um, and then yeah loads of balloons so this is the setup I actually love this so much you know it even turned out better than I thought it would um really 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 pleased with that I love like the colors and stuff it's not that exciting but it's something it's so good. Oh. <sighs> oh. Oh. I didn't see that no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Mm. Okay. Oh, it's so weird. It's cute, isn't it? That is unbelievable. It's just boxes. Like, yeah, like crazy. stacked up. I like that. It's cute, isn't it? Round 24. Cute. Oh. Look at Bam Bam. Look at that thing. Result. He likes it. Unbelievable. Spot and on. then you've got your presents. Do you like your cake? Unbelievable. The lines are a little bit more pretty nice, but... Myself. 36. 36. Last 36. year it was 37. Last year you had 37. Well, these ones are quite a lot bigger than last year's. I don't care how big they are. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, Bumpkin, we'll take you out tonight. <laughs> no, she goes, so, well, when we go out, we'll buy you two new presents. How about that, dear? Make a wish, babe. Make a wish, Harry. Yay. Wow, well done. Very impressive. Good. 
So the flavour of it is salted caramel and Nutella, apparently. Yeah. So, excited to try this. Very thick inside, isn't it? Yeah. Have a spoon, please, darling. Ooh. Quite a neat... I mean, do you just want to eat it for me? Sorry. So this is salted caramel sponge with... No, you need to get some... I like the icing. Maybe you need to get some, of the, get some of the filling. Is it dry? Unmovable. Is it? Mm -hmm. A bit dry. Oh. Right, I'm going to cut myself a slice now and try. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want it? I'll be honest. Go on, you. No, I'm not getting an ounce of salt and caramel. <laughs> yeah, it's because you just took sponge. I'm <laughs> not getting an ounce of salt and caramel. Or Nutella. I'm just getting cake. Do you know what I mean? Babe, look at you eating, you're just eating sponge though. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, I did get a hint of Nutella then. That's nice. You even drew a smiley face at the end. Oh. Cute. Cute, so cute. So cute, you know. So cute. So cute, you know. Cute, you know. Nice. Yes. Just to catch you all up on what has been going on. Do you want to just hold the camera, babe? It would be really helpful because it's just going to slide everywhere. <laughs> no, because that's going to be all that's smudgy. Fine, it won't. Um, but go, babe, you go ahead, considering all right, so basically, you're the one that had the disastrous day. We've had an absolute disaster of a day. Like, no, that's the only way. the best day ever because all we've done is laugh. Yeah, yeah maybe we have wrong laughed things a lot. and wrong situations, but it has been hilarious and I wouldn't have changed today for the world. Go on. So, what happened? Ba basically, you? guys, we went out, the house keys probably fell out of my pocket. And yeah, we've come home and realised that we don't have a house key. When I say, when you say we, I, Tommy was in charge of the house key. But why I did that, God when only knows. you obviously went out last night and you weren't really switched on today, yeah, was you know a very stupid move of mine. Bambi was due a bottle, she was due a nappy change, and we were trying to get in the house, and the key was no nowhere to be found. So basically, for the whole of Tommy's birthday, what have we been? Locked out. Locked out. Um, so that was brilliant. Um, so we had to go to Tommy's family's house and spend his birthday there, which was absolutely fine. It was actually really, really nice. But luckily I had some spare stuff and a couple of extra bottles oh. in the nappy bag. Did you not see that on the road? What? Did I, I didn't kill something, did I? No. But basically, if you're wondering what we're doing now, I've, I've, got, surprise. I've got another surprise for Tommy. But it's not really a surprise <laughs> anymore because I, I did tell him what we were doing. So I've booked a hotel for us tonight. So we have a full baby free night. You're gonna create another baby. No, we're not gonna create another baby. Nope. Definitely don't want another baby just yet. Babe. Um What? What? What's that in the sky? It's a plane, babe. That's not a plane. Yes, it is a plane. No, it's not. What else is it? It's literally a Ryanair plane. That literally looks like a UFO. No, it doesn't. Well, literally after the meal last night, we went to the bowling place in Manchester and I opened the door to go in like this private room that she tired. And literally all my friends was sat there and it was literally like took me off guard so much. Do you know what I was saying on the vlog as well that I didn't know if your friends would want to go like surprise but basically just to fill you guys in on what actually happened. It was so sweet. All his friends like hid behind basically like the, yeah. the wall and then we went in they, were, they did they were kind of like surprised. They, were, they didn't say surprise they were just like whoa. So kind of like a bit more like a laddie way yeah. to do it which I did say what's this car doing here? You had a good night because... 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. I was awoken to a very, very messy Mr. Fury. <laughs> what she means to say to you all now is, we will see you at the Gotham. <laughs> you like that? You like that? Oh, wait. But I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to the best missus that I have in the world. She literally organised a night out better than any, any lad could have organised, like, it was unbelievable. I know she's only sat right there, but... Do I look sexy driving? <laughs> that wasn't sexy. <laughs> I'm doing it. You can go first. Leave the suitcases out and we'll come after them. Off you go. Might be a bag of cunha, not too sure. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> I copied you! Wow. I copied you. Wow. Wow. Really, really nice. Really nice. 
I mean, I literally just stole his literal idea that he did for Mother's Day. Wow, unbelievable, babe. Do you like it? Really like it. Oh. What a lovely room. It's very um, different, isn't I it? I told you. Uh, the, is that the actual bath that you use, or is it just for show? No, you use that. So they haven't got a bath in here? Uh, I don't know. Why didn't we just turn the lights on when we came in? I that would have no made idea. such a difference. Aww. Look at all really the pictures. Nice. Really nice. What do you think? What do you think then? Oh, what do you think then? <laughs> Unbelievable. Mum's life's beautiful. Yeah, Reporting back in, how are you all doing? I am now home, Tommy and I are now home, but I am just about to hop in the bath. Bambi is just having a little nap. It was so nice to see her. Obviously, I had my couple of nights away when I was working with PRT and Nice, so I'm definitely used to having a little bit of time apart from her now. And obviously, as much as we miss her so much when we're not with her, like, we do honestly miss her so much. It is also really, really nice to have, like, and night just me and Tommy and just have like a little break and just to it kind of felt like old times it was really weird obviously we would never want our old times back and we just love our life now with Bambi but also it is important to have that time together and quality time as a couple just having a quick bath I'm not gonna lie I got like 10 hours sleep last night because we went to bed basically as soon as we got into the hotel Tommy ordered a pizza and then we went to bed like by 11 o'clock and then we woke up at about 9 this morning um, before heading back home so I've had about 10 hours sleep but I'll be honest I feel like I actually feel worse for having more sleep I was just sat on the sofa there giving her her bottle before I put her down for a nap and I was literally like drifting off giving her her bottle like I feel so tired but I literally had 10 hours sleep last night so I don't know maybe I feel like my body's gotten used to like the less sleep and then when I give it more sleep it's like what's going on here but also something that I wanted just to thank you guys for as well is that there was a quite a few comments on one of my recent videos where I'd shown the baby monitor of Bambi sleeping in her crib and I had like left um well I didn't know about this but like on the what, what I showed you guys on the screen it had like the camera number and people were saying to me like you need to change your camera like people can hack that like I had no idea some of you guys were basically saying to me that it's really dangerous to like post the number of your camera anywhere I don't I didn't even know there was like a camera number on the screen I don't know anything about this and anyway basically I changed my camera monitor I bought like a completely whole new setup because I just got really freaked out because when you guys were like, oh, you can, from what you've shown on the screen, I know sometimes it's a bit OTT, but like apparently like it could have been hacked. So I was like, I'm not even risking that. Like it's such a scary thought. So um, I bought like a whole new camera monitor, a whole new camera setup. So yeah, thanks to the people that commented that on my last video and just made me aware of that because I had no idea. No. I've literally had a night off. I should not be this tired. What is going on? And quickly as well, before I get in the bath, I'm actually gonna pop my teeth whitening back in. Now I wanted to vlog this part of me putting my teeth whitening back in because you guys are probably wondering why I'm going in so ham on the teeth whitening at the minute. It doesn't even look like I've been going ham on the teeth whitening because my teeth are not even white yet. I've only been doing it for a couple of days. But like I say, my teeth are so sensitive, so I really struggle to do it. But basically, I am actually having some dental cosmetic work done soon. Um, you guys know I'll always keep it transparent with you whenever I'm doing anything like cosmetically or like I don't know to like enhance the way I look and I guess like teeth definitely fall under that um I've been on like a real journey with my teeth as you guys know if you've been here for like the whole journey you'll know that I've been on like a real journey with my teeth um and I had like full cosmet um what's it called um full composite bonding took me a while there full composite bonding on my teeth um Oh my god, it looked so bad. Like, the first time I had it done, let's not even talk about it. It literally looked like I had, like, one continuous tooth across my whole entire mouth. Like, it looked like I had a gum shield in. Sometimes when I, I'm on TikTok and, like, old clips of, like, Love Island will come up and I look at my teeth and I'm like, oh, like, why did my family literally let me go on the TV looking like that? Like, because I'm sorry, but is it any wonder I got trolled for my teeth when I was in there? That was one of the things I got trolled for, but, like, my teeth... I can understand because, like I say, it looked like I had a literal gum shield in my mouth. So these here right now are pretty much, apart from this tooth and this tooth, they're pretty much, oh, not pretty much, they are all my natural teeth. I just had these two side teeth here next to my front teeth extended to make them a little bit longer just so they're all more in line slightly. Um, but when I was pregnant, when I was pregnant, I don't know what happened to my teeth, but in videos and everything, like my teeth just looked really 
different and weird and I got so in my pregnancy one of the things I think I was actually most self-conscious about were my teeth because through pregnancy you can't whiten your teeth and when you're breastfeeding you can't whiten your teeth um obviously now I'm not doing that I'm able to whiten my teeth but my teeth just turned into a bit of a mess through my pregnancy and I was so self-conscious about them like I used to look back at videos like when I was swimming through my pregnancy and I used to be like so self-conscious about my teeth I don't know if maybe it's because like my face shape changed or my, my face was more swollen so my teeth looked smaller or my lips changed so my teeth looked different like something was just off with my teeth well, definitely they were like off color I mean they were just they were just not how I personally like them to look I'm going in next week to have my edge bonding redone like a few tweaks onto my teeth I might even get Invisalign back on my bottom teeth because I had Invisalign but then I didn't ever get like a brace at the end to then like keep them in place so they've kind of just all moved back now I don't know if you guys can see but they're not I mean they're nowhere near as bad as they used to be and they're not they're not even bad but like they're just like it doesn't look like it in the camera at all it I mean you can barely they're just I'm a bit of a perfectionist so you can only put edge bonding on on the same color that my natural teeth are so I'm trying to get them as white as possible so that the edge bonding can be nice and white and then my smile will be nice and white and um, so I need to hammer the whitening this week which is really sad because I've got such sensitive teeth and I'm scared basically comment down below if you want me to take you guys along on that teeth journey I mean I don't I think the changes will be dramatic enough for you guys to be able to tell in my videos that's why I just wanted to like let you guys know that I'm probably going to be doing that another thing that I've also been trying um I thought I'd let you guys know I've only just started my journey but I've seen so many girls on TikTok and like YouTube and just all over the place talking about um like their lash growth journey and my lashes was definitely one thing were definitely one thing that took a hit through my pregnancy and also I have a really bad habit of rubbing my eyes a lot because I don't really ever wear makeup that often and day to day I'm not normally wearing makeup. Um, I have a bad habit of like rubbing my face and rubbing my eyes when I'm tired. Um, so my lashes over the last few months and through my pregnancy just really, really thinned out. So I bought um, UK Lash, which um, I've heard literally works miracles for growing your lashes. I've only just started using it. I've been like three nights of applying it and then I actually missed a night as well. I'm going to be so bad. This is like... This is like me with the um, the contraceptive pill. Like, if it's something that needs to be done every single day, like, don't count on me to do it. Like, I can't. I can't get on board with it because I am the most forgetful person. Even if I put this next to my bed, guaranteed I'll still forget to do it. But I'm going to really try because I really, really want to um, see an improvement with my lashes. Oh, my God, guys. Quickly, before I get in the bath, finally. <gasps> finally, this wall is finished. Okay, it's actually not finished because... There needs to be like LED lights. Sorry, I can't remember if I literally ran downstairs just to grab myself. I mean, this setup is actually elite. Obviously restocked earlier. On my favorite shower down in the world, I just got some ice cubes from the fridge and a nice cold bottle of water. Um, but yeah, basically there needs to be like LED lights pop down either side of the marble. I have got like a big light feature, like a big kind of um, hanging light that also needs to be fitted, which was just waiting for. This was kind of like the last thing in the home reno that needed to be done. So I'm very, very pleased. And as well, I love the fact that when you shut this door, yeah, when you shut the door, it just looks like one continuous like panel of wood. Um, we need to work out like a handle situation. You can actually open it just like this, but I need to work out what handle I want on the other side. <laughs> Reporting in at 10.23 p.m. in the evening and I have about 15 minutes before I get Bambi up for her nappy change, 11 p.m. bottle and then we will head to bed. This way balance. I cannot explain to you how tired I feel right now and I had 10 hours sleep last night. Normally I have about four hours sleep and I'm rocking and rolling with that. Like I'm functioning, I'm living life, I'm breathing air, like I'm cracking on with mum life. And last night I had 10 hours sleep and now I literally feel half zombified. What's going on? You guys do not understand how easy it is for me 
to finish off a packet of chocolate hobnobs. I can finish off a packet of chocolate hobnobs as easy as it is for me to drink a glass of water. Like, I also feel like potentially this is like the first vlog that I've posted where I feel like, I feel like I've been saying this in like every video I've posted. I mean, I've literally posted like three videos since having a baby, but genuinely now when I say I feel like I'm myself is coming back, what, what am I even saying? I genuinely do mean it when I feel like I'm being more myself. And I think even from editing this vlog, I've just been editing it now. I can literally see from watching the footage, I'm like, oh, like, there I am. That's the old me. Like, and I didn't even realise it. Like, it's mad. Like, just looking at myself talking, I can just see a massive change in, like, my personality. And just, like, it feels bouncier. I don't know. Like, I just feel a bit bouncier. And, like, before I felt like there was no bounce to me. I just felt like, like, when I was watching footage of me, I just, it just seemed so flat. Especially the niece footage. Oh, my God. I literally looked like a flat piece of bread. Just, like... Oh my god, it's like it was just like I didn't even want to post that video. Any new mums out there watching this that are finding that newborn stage so freaking hard and they're struggling and they feel like they are just so like I can't even explain it. I didn't even have baby blues or anything, but I just I just can never explain it. But I truly, truly had on heart believe that there's something about that three month mark, everything changes. Everything changes and you start to think this is what I dreamt of, that I was signing up for. Everyone's different because some of my friends have just had babies. They are literally finding the newborn stage an absolute dream and they are loving it and it's everything they had ever hoped and imagined it to be. But I don't know. I just feel like I had to just say something right now about how different I'm feeling at the moment and how much I'm enjoying being a mum now and how much... I know it sounds terrible because I don't want to say, like, I felt the opposite to this, but I'll be honest, I kind of did. Like, in the morning, I look forward to the days now. Whereas like a good few weeks ago, every day I'd wake up and I'd be like, I don't know if I can do another day. Like I, I can't, like, I don't know. It was the unknown and like, there was just so many, I don't know. Their little smile, their little laugh, like it literally makes it all worth it. Um, and I wish someone had kind of told me that. So this is me just being that voice. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Um, if you made it to the end of this video, then I love you millions. That was so cringy. I'm never doing that ever again. And hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.